please visit wearebg.org. Once again, that is wearebg.org. And sign the petition. We also ask that you please stay. Uh, higher quality shot for ourselves. Um, get a little bit easier, a little bit closer to the basket. Didn't get a lot of, of shots in the paint um, today. Um, you know, second half, I think uh, we picked that up, but um, getting ourselves some some easier looks. Um, and you know, uh, Atlanta did a good job taking us out of our transition game. When you think about uh, Tina Charles, that's kind of like you know one of the leading scorers in the league last season, and she's kind of you know had a slow start offensively. What what do you think has kind of keyed in on that this year? Uh, yeah, so uh, there's a couple of things that you know we have a lot of um, dynamic scorers uh, around Tina that she didn't have last year. Um, she had to carry a pretty heavy burden. Uh, for a scoring burden for Washington. Um, but, you know, we, we definitely want to get her some touches on the block, uh, get her rolling to the rim, uh, try to get her some stuff deeper in there because uh, she's tough to guard. What were some of the positives that you could take from today's game? Um, you know, uh, I, was, I was happy with uh, how we came out in the third quarter with a little bit better, a lot better defensive energy, um, just really more uh, team-oriented look there. Uh, I thought Christina Nigue came in and gave us um, some really good energy minutes as as well. And, you know, we have a extremely short bench without Shea Petty and, and Sophie Cunningham and Kia Nurse and <laughs> Brittany Griner. And so, um, you know, I, I, I was happy with uh, Sam Thomas. Sam Thomas got her first WNBA bucket today. So that's always a positive, always happy for a player to get the, those things too. But uh, we have a lot of work to do. We have a lot of things we need to do to improve. Uh, How would you feel about Atlanta's offense? You know, um, it seemed like in the second half, like you said, you were more um, satisfied with that defensive effort. You guys yeah. really stopped Trap and Ryan a lot in the second half, stopped doubling her like you were in the first half. Yeah. Um, I guess, you know, what did you think that just kind of said about her willingness or her ability to kind of learn on the fly? And she started di uh, distributing and getting out to open, um, you know, players and stuff like that in the first half. Yeah, so. I mean, Howard's a, Howard's a tough guard. She's, she's a, a good player now, and she'll be a good player in the future. Um, and, um, you know, she was a challenge for us, but I thought we gave up a lot of open shots early. Uh, and in the second half, uh, we did a better job of scrambling. We did a better job of, of helping in gaps, uh, really preventing a lot of straight line drives that we gave up in the first half. So uh, better one-on-one -on -one defense made a difference. Um, I thought, you know, uh, Howard is, uh, is a very versatile young player and uh, with a huge, huge potential. Coaches right there uh, on your warm up. Uh, you know, you see the shirts in the stands right before the tip off. They announce it at day one on one. Um, how do you guys kind of focus on yeah. games in, in a time like this? Yeah, I mean, I think that's constantly in the thought process of all of our players. All of our players uh, um, are aware of the situation. You know, their sister is in a Russian jail, and we need the the Biden administration to take it seriously. Uh, to help bring this this black woman home, and uh, we, you know we've we've seen them bring back um, a couple of uh, white men, and we want to see them bring BG home, and, and that needs to be an important emphasis for them, and uh, it's always in the minds of our players, it's always in the minds of our coaches, and I would just like us to see her uh, us honor her a little bit with a stronger effort on Tuesday. Do you think Thank that? you. Sorry, okay. Ruby, right. we're gonna take your question next. Go for it. Um, Ruby, can I hear you? Hello? Okay. Hi. Hi. Sorry about that. Hi, Coach. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. There are talks of a prisoner exchange for BG's release, specifically for Russian arms dealer Victor Bout. How would you say that exchange is going to affect future players from playing overseas in war zone countries like Russia? And how would that stop like Russian country, like countries like Russia? to stop using players as a political ploy to push their own vendetta. Yeah, I mean, uh, there's a lot of these prisoner exchanges that go on all the time between countries all over the world. And, um, you know, I, I think it's a dangerous situation when we're dealing with countries with hostile leaders um, that don't see uh, the worldview similar to us. Uh, I'm grateful that there's a discussion to bring to bring BG home, and I hope that the Biden administration works hard. I hope that Kamala Harris takes us seriously and helps us bring our bring our sister home. Thank you. And one more question: 
When you were when you guys were going into today's game, would you say the mindset is impacted also the playing and every with everything going on in the pro, such as this getting in Texas and BG not being here? Like it's more of a mental thing than just. I mean, we don't we 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 don't we don't make any excuses with the Mercury. I make no excuses as a coach. I take full responsibility for how the team played today. Uh, we always have things in our mind um, when the ball gets tossed up. We've got to we've got to do our best. Um, that was definitely not our best today. And um, you know, there's always things in the world, and, and those things weigh heavy on our players as they do on all of us. And uh, you know, this is a specially unique and challenging situation for our team. Um, but I think what we have to do is, is we have to regroup ourselves and we have to we have to do better. Thank you, Coach. You're welcome. Thank you, David. Go for it. David? Yeah, Coach, uh, is this losing skid basketball related? How is everything that's been happening off the court in terms of the ground situation and the matching been affecting this team? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think everything affects us, but, um, you know, uh, I'm a new coach. We have a new system. We have some new players. Um, we're trying to, to figure that out, and we have to do better. Um, that starts with me, um, the leader of the group, and uh, I need to find new ways to help this team uh, be motivated and also to fight their ways through uh, the adversity that is this season. Thank you, David. Looks like that's it for today. Thank you, Vanessa. Thank you. Nothing from Michelle Vopel? That seems unusual. All right. Bye, y'all. Thanks, Bob.